up, everybody? It's Joel Puma. You are listening. You are watching the Complex Sneakers Podcast, early morning edition. Yes. I'm here with my guy, Mr. Matt Welty. Hey, it's like we saw each other two days ago, right? Yes, we did. We did. And to my left. Here I am. Mr. Brendan Dunn. How we doing? I feel okay. Early morning, earlier than usual, coming off the Labor Day weekend. We are here, though. What's new? And what do we do this weekend? We did. We had our meet and greet this weekend. Thank you so much, everyone who came out mm-hmm. to the Mikey's Likes It ice cream meet and greet in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, Domino Park. It was a thank beautiful- you, Wealthy, to coming out to Brooklyn yeah. because yeah. getting Wealthy to Brooklyn is a, is a tall order. Yes, any day of the week. Yes, but especially on a Saturday, getting yes. Wealthy to Williamsburg to serve vegan ice cream. Hey, that it is, happened. How was you your? Ex- had that, if you had that on your 2021 bingo, bingo card, card, God bless you, because I certainly didn't. How was your experience coming to Brooklyn? Not so bad, right? Uh, you know what? The besides meeting the fans, the best part of it all was on the way back when there was a big sign that said "Welcome to Jersey City." Oh my God, I'm home. <laughs> I'm- but we do want to thank all the fans who came out mm-hmm. Saturday. Appreciate you. Thank you for that. The truck pulled up eventually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah had a little. Uh, yeah, snafu, but yeah, truck truck looked good, and what a weekend it was. You know what? I gotta say, I, I'm sorry you guys didn't get the privilege to spend some time with them, but also my weekend was brightened by the appearance of one Zach to basic. I know he didn't come. Managing editor me. of Soul Collector, yes. and Complex Soul Sneakers. What'd you guys do? Um, we went out to a nice vegetarian meal. I took him around to some spots in the city. We went to Nike Soho. Okay. We walked through there. Imagine so. Have you guys, wealthy probably not, but have you experienced this thing how everything in New York right now there's a line for? I've yes. seen it, but I haven't like, more experienced it. Like, there's a line outside the Allbirds store. Mm-hmm. So usually That's because of capacity, right? Yeah, usually okay. there's a line outside the Nike Soho store these days. And I, I, just on principle, because I am so famous and so <laughs> uh, influential, I will not <laughs> wait in a line to get into the Nike Soho store. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, there was no line when I went with Zach. But... There was a line inside the store, so if you recall, it's I think five or six floors. And yeah, we had it's a to, tall store. We had to wait in line on the fourth floor to get onto the fifth. I've floor. only Imagine been there my once. Intense embarrassment. That's not embarrassing. I remember going there once. In the field. I mean, maybe more embarrassing is that nobody noticed me while Did I was waiting in line. On? So yeah, but and then we finally got to the, the the top floor, and there were like no Jordans there. It was a small assortment of Nike basketball product. I don't know I, if it was worth it. I guess. I remember say. going there. <laughs> Probably like two years ago now, because time flies mm-hmm. during all of this with Trinidad. Um, this is back when we had the complex uh, basketball team. Oh, right. Yeah. You weren't on it, though. No, the the complex. I knew, nor was I. Me no, either. Just for the but Trinidad was supposed to be a ringer. Um, I what happened? I think uh, his stat line wasn't looking so hot the first game. And like, really? He, he just yeah. stopped Trinidad, playing? Trinidad James can play basketball. No, I know, everybody, I know, I know. who's played basketball with Trinidad yeah, has attested but to that. We ended, up, night? we ended up going to the top floor, like you said, and Trinidad was trying to buy the Air Jordan 33s. So this is how long ago that was. Um, weren't available, so we had to go to the Foot Locker in Soho. And we did get recognized, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm glad to hear that. You know what? I feel like in general, and let me know if I'm wrong, but has it felt a little bit quiet in sneakers lately? I feel like we're in a little bit of a lull, maybe before the big Black I mean, Friday and, I mean, and, and holiday we, rush. We literally just had both Travis Scott yes. Air Jordan One releases okay, okay. and 50 pairs of Virgil Off White Dunks. I don't know. Yeah, but, that's but what, what I would say right now. Because in my head. And maybe I will contradict myself shortly, mm-hmm. but there's nothing coming up that I'm interested in or that excited about. I feel like the past couple months, I spent a lot of money on shoes. I bought the Lightning Fours. I bought those mm-hmm. uh, Virgil 50 dunks. Didn't get the Travis Scott ones. But I feel like, and I'm kind of happy about this, there's not that much stuff coming up that I have to spend money on. Do you, are there any shoes that I need to buy very soon? Joe Fresh Goods, New Balance. You're right. You're right about the that. Last those, are, those are coming. Those are like this getting. This weekend. Okay. Any, it, anything else? I know Wealthy keeps posting photos of the double taps. Oh, I want the 990 I, V2. That shoe is not good. Yes, that it shoe, is. I can't believe it. I'm not going you like crazy over that shoe. I'm I, not chase I really it. want that, that shoe. That is the most plain looking but shoe. But it's good. Uh, there's, there's certain things where I understand where people are coming from on that shoe where they're like, it's not super exciting. But at the same time, it's not exciting at all. It's I super really, exciting. I really want that. Like, if I have that shoe, I know I'm just going to wear it a lot. Really? You know what? Actually, you know what is kind of. 
I'm warming up to is the Quarter Snacks Nike SB Dunk Low with the zebra print. Shout out to Complex's own David Cabrera who shot, shot the official photos yes. for that. I never would have thought I would have liked the zebra print dunk, and maybe I'm being a homer since our friend David worked on the campaign. But the, the, I'm, great images. I, I'm, I'm kind of interested in those. Who saw AEW? Did anyone watch AEW? I don't watch wrestling. Sa okay, Saturday night. <laughs> My friend was like, "What are the young bucks?" My friend was like, oh, right, "What right. are the I young bucks going to wear this tonight?" Clip. This is true, and After I was like, "I bet, the... I bet they wear Travis ones." They came out in you, you custom. Had, you called it. So they came you out in the custom. Thumbtacks? No, they came out. This is I'm, I'm being totally honest. They came out in not the Travis ones. I think they were custom Jordan one mids. If I, I think so, I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. But then midway through the match. Literally they get midway a bag. through the match, they get a they get a bag. Oh, I got you. I was like, "What is the joke?" They get a bag. Yes, mid. They open the bag, and it's the Travis One High, the Fragment collab with thumbtacks in the sole. And I was like, "I knew." I, I felt they really validated. Yeah, I felt yeah, yeah. really validated. I was like, "I knew that they were going to show up somehow in Travis Ones." We sent it to our team. Went all over. I saw Trinidad's tweet though. Did what you see? He said, he said this he's, he's like, "Yeah, the shoe isn't it." That was basically the summation of what he said. And there were so many double entendres in what you just said, Joe. You said... Don't even ask me how. You said midway through the match. Nice. And then you said they opened up the bag and pulled out the Travis Scott ones. Double, triple entendre, don't even ask me how? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you uh, weren't tuned into AEW. No, I don't do... I, I re, like, I Is don't, there any UFC news we need to catch up on? I don't, no. I, I don't have... I saw the guy, the, the, the duo from Liverpool. Yeah, I, yeah. I kind of messed with that. Patty yeah. the Baddie. Oh, we and were talking Molly, about that at the oh, meeting. Yeah. Molly, Molly Meatball, what is, what is the woman's name? Uh, I'm not sure. I know that... There's a woman from Liverpool, too, a scout. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that our a friend of the program, Joe Connolly, who works at New Balance UK, mm -hmm. um, good, really good friend of mine, but he said that Patty the Baddie goes on the coach. What's his actual name? I'm sorry. Uh, his name's Patty. I don't know what his last name is, but UFC fighter from Liverpool. Yes. Just, Patty. And it was a big match he won over the weekend. He, he was on he was on the main card. Okay. He wasn't on the other card. Yeah, we and just, yeah. he goes on the coach bus with Joe from New Balance to Liverpool away matches. So he's like really? really he's like really out there in the streets. Okay. Yeah. I just I had seen a video and another friend of the program that laces out yes. shared where he's talking about one tens and the, the idea that oh, he that, knows yeah. the shoe first as the 110 and then later Air as Max the Air Max 95. Like, yeah. like oh, Which, what's, the, what's the official name? The Air little, Max little bit of foreshadowing. Yeah. Yeah. Air Max 95 will come up in a few minutes Very on the program. Very soon. So stay tuned. But hey, I got to say, I, I'm rooting for that guy. Patty the you, Patty you the We were talking about you. Yeah, you're yeah, a big we, fan, right? Yeah. Well, I had told, I had told you that story because I had gotten a text about that right when we were uh, talking about it. Yeah, I messed with him. I might I might be out that way soon. Actually, just so you guys know, I, I might pop out for like a secret vacation soon. When? Uh, in the next couple of weeks, we'll talk Good about luck. it. Good so luck. We'll... FSR's just starting. How is <laughs> no. that going? How is <laughs> that going to happen? Well, everything will get figured out. Okay, maybe a long weekend. Um, maybe a little bit more than that, but you won't be able to contact me. But you guys will. You gonna do a remote FSR shoot? Well, no, 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 no. Okay, heavens no. But as far as this program is concerned, we might have to uh, okay. smooth. We some both out. actually. I'm gonna be floating through the countryside somewhere with some morel. Uh, some Merrill, what is Morel? it? The, the Morel? The Mox, the Mox, what is the it? Mox? The Hydro Mock? I'm yeah. like in a Casablanca silk shirt flowing in the wind. You know who you, is you, on vacation? You, Super producer Dave Matthews. Oh. Eh, Dave will be all right. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad he's getting tomorrow. I was going to say a little bit of history, or not history, uh, I guess trivia for the full size run fans. Me and you both have missed, at least in the modern era. Yeah of full size run one episode each because we were away and i think i had mentioned on here i missed john geiger mm -hmm. and do you know which one you did not i missed um what's i'm sorry i'm not kais omar yes i missed the kais omar oh, man. Of the full size run i was in oregon visiting some family it was an important event for me and i'm glad i did why, why weren't you there for john geiger uh john geiger we had john geiger on the show when trinidad was on like in the modern era? No, I think, you know what, I think it was Rich. Okay, it was right before. Yeah, and you know what, I think I had said yes to something, like way... Yeah. Press trip? Yeah, way beforehand, and it was, I had gone to Austin with New Balance on a private mm -hmm. jet for one oh. day. Oh. Hopped in the PJ. How was that for you? Uh, it was what it the was. The New Balance jet? Uh, I don't know if it was a New Balance jet, but we went and hung out with Raekwon for okay. one day down at South by Southwest. And it was a good time? a good time 
they almost this is a funny story so new balance sponsored it was the fader fort or whatever mm-hmm. yeah. they spawn they were the title sponsor all the employees are wearing new balance and we show up like 15 people to the new balance event and they weren't going to let us in um for whatever reason not because we did anything but they were just like oh yeah like <laughs> no but they were like oh you know i don't know if we're like if the vip Wh- who lounge, wasn't gonna let you in the the people working the event you yeah. know like and they're like oh it might be at a capacity we don't know if we let you in and i'm like talking to the new balance people. i'm like look you guys need to step up right now because you're sponsoring this event yeah, and they're you, all wearing new balance shoes yeah. you need to go you up to these here on a private you to, jet you need to go to these, is in the building. you need to go to these people working the door and tell them if you don't let us in the door right now i'm gonna snatch those shoes you off took of your control feet. of the situation <laughs> <laughs> so you did took, they let you in they ended up letting us in but yeah i'm so glad to hear that you mentioned john geiger we need geiger on here sometimes yes. we got to talk about this legal issue he's Definitely. going through with the Nike lookalikes, I, w- I want to break all that down. I want to do it though when he's here. You know, yes, what I mean? so in we, person, so we can really talk about it. He had the most uh, SEO friendly uh, headline from his hype beast press release on the which one was that? John Geiger, where it was like John Geiger hires Yeezy lawyer in Nike lawsuit case. Oh, just a bunch of a bunch of keywords <laughs> that are going to get you to click. Yeah, hey, I respect it. By the way. I, I, I got to mention a little bit more travel because I am going to be out of town this coming weekend. You are. So if any fans of the podcast see me in Ohio, just you know get that it there? I, what's up? You used to you get see, it there. I'm, I'm about to get it there. Okay. I, you know, next week I Anything will be fun? able to say that. I, yeah, I'm going to the Oregon Ohio State. Oh, game. oh right. yes. Yeah, on Saturday, so I will be in Columbus. They get a they get a roll out the red carpet like they did for Sean Evans at um, his homecoming or no? Probably. You on not. the sidelines? <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I don't. I, uh, you know what? If anybody listening can put me on the sideline, yeah. Okay. Put put me on the sideline, but let let's see. So wait, so you're not like a, a face of the alumni yet? No, not yet. It, again, this is a great uh, time Platform. to yeah mm-hmm. to, to make that plea. But if anybody at the University of Oregon wants to make me an official ambassador, please set it up. Talk I, to our friend Dennis Dixon, maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe Dennis can make it happen. Any keys to victory? <sighs> yeah. We're gonna need um we're gonna need this good performance from, you know, Johnny Johnson the third. Okay. Travis Dye. I thought I saw Kayvon Thibodeau got a little bit injured in, in that first game this past weekend, so I'm hoping he it's, I'm hoping he's it's all a right. replay of what year was it, the national championship game? Um I wanna say two thousand sixteen. Fourteen. Team? No, I think it was like 2016. 2016? I don't know. Either way, go Ducks. That'll be a good weekend for you. Yeah, I'm very excited. I'll be in Columbus for the weekend. If uh, you know, Joe, this this uh, past weekend, me and you had a real. People were referring to it as a you versus the man. She tells you not to worry about moment. Oh man, <laughs> I saw that. Oh, I know what you're talking I about. I saw that. I, I saw that. I never. I never. I said I've never felt more insignificant in my life. I saw that. Go ahead. No, Explain. Yeah, I had a fan, I believe Gavin Cruz, who came to meet us, Brendan. He was with the, the shirt, with the shirt, with Love the that. FSR uh, Pet Boys, not Pet Boys. Don't sue us. <laughs> uh, sure, we both signed it, which was actually really. It's really cool to you know, have those experiences. And he posted. I mean, I'm sitting right next to Joe, and we're both wearing, we're both wearing, uh, we're both wearing shorts. So the the legs are on full display and i just looked down as they are now yeah as i as yeah i mean Not i, me, I let wearing, you live today i shouldn't i should <laughs> let you live today i shouldn't be wearing shorts right because it's after labor day um i'm wearing white pants you're not supposed to wear white after labor yeah, day right? we're both breaking all breaking the rules. rules yep um and i looked down and i'm like joe's calves were looking juicy uh, well, a lot of responses were like, wow, you guys didn't lie about when you mentioned <laughs> it on the podcast. It, right? yeah, Although some it. were saying that it was the high socks that, <laughs> that no, accentuated no, it. No, no, no. Can someone, come on, let them In know. In real life, the calves look like that. It's, this is no editing tricks. This is, this is really, really what it is. Trinidad retweeted, has to be Joe. Because <laughs> our, yeah, the <laughs> thing that you did, our, our yeah, 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 there was no, uh, there was, um, you could only hidden the socks on. Yes, I like those socks. Okay. I saw a response to. Yeah, I saw. I, a no, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not an anti hidden socks. Well, I, I was I waiting. Know, I was I looking to see if you were gonna like no, the diss, and you didn't. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I mean, I don't. I don't. I don't wear them, but I'm not like yeah, anti like hidden socks. I don't I like understand them. where the the vitriol for hidden socks comes. Is from. that a thing? There's some people that it just. I guess because it's kind of like ubiquitous in the sneaker circle scene at this point, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I see a lot of hidden gear around. Interesting. From our friend Tyler Mansour. Yes. Yeah. Who is not hidden? He's not the man behind the account. Shouts to hidden, great account. And shout out to Tyler. 
and Tyler. Do you know who the person behind Hidden is? It's a British kid, right? Yeah, but I'm. Um, do you know like has his name? <laughs> Joe's staying silent. <laughs> like he don't want to out his him? identity. Yep. Oh, nice. Did he He's actually been at a complex event. W- which event? Um, Are we being careful to protect his identity? No, I'm trying you don't to want think. To accidentally I'm trying to think. No. Speaking of whistleblow, did you see the Salehi yurt shoe? It looks like it's got a whistle on the back. <laughs> well, so like this might be a kazoo. I don't know. We, that we thing. should confirm if that. Yeah, you know the, what I mean. It looks like a back. whistle, right? <gasps> oh, <laughs> am I wrong? The thing on the back, apparently, when you step, the air releases. Oh, it's the opposite way. Okay, I feel like I could, I could play a little tune on that thing, like okay. Can you imagine? Of time type shit. I literally was just, you know? I literally, Matt Gian would have a I literally field day with just, that. I was literally just thinking about like the no, just what like you, this? What you just what, before you said Ocarina of Time. Yeah. I was just thinking that you were gonna make that reference Hell to yeah. Zelda. Hell and yeah, you. I mean, come on, man, we're. We're on the same wavelength. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. What, what is it, Zelda? Legend of Zelda? Ocarina of Time? It's a flute that you pick up in oh, the game. Okay. It's not a flute. It's Ocarina. Yes. In, but the N64 Zelda, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. It's, I don't know if you ever knew anybody who had the physical Ocarina. I think you could order it from, like, Nintendo Power Magazine. But that's a, that's a conversation for a different day. Speaking of 64, do we want to get on to 95? Oh wow! <laughs> Is it, does that count as a transition? All right, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. That's good. We let's, should run right. towards it, right? Yes. Let's give away some sneakers. Let's get to our eBay sneaker giveaway of the week. Yes. Yeah, so the question today comes from Evan Bell, Chicago, and Evan asks, "What is your favorite friends and family sneaker you own, and do you consider it one of your grails?" Okay. And and also, I always got to do this. Let's Please mention, let them know how to how submit. They can do this because mm-hmm. each week on the Complex Sneakers podcast, we give away a very coveted pair of sneakers, hand selected by one of our co-hosts here. And this is how you win the sneakers: if you go to eBay.complex.com, you can submit a question yep. for us to respond to on air, and we will pick a question. If we pick your question to read on the air, we are going to give you a pair of sneakers. Which sneakers are we giving away this week? Oh, it's a good pair. Mm-hmm. Yes, Welty. What do we got? So. When we when we do this, um, you know, they ask us for which shoes do we want to pick out, you know, and your head's racing towards all these, like, modern hype shoes or the stuff you really like. And sometimes mm-hmm. there's stuff that you forget that you're like, oh, this is a shoe that I've always liked or yeah. always wanted to have in possession. T- to that point, you know what I check a lot hmm. for, th- for when this happens? Truest Hawaii. I checked their Instagram, and it brings up a lot of shoes that I forgot yeah. about. True, and I, I'm stuff. sure that I've seen this yep. shoe on it. Yeah. yeah, and this is a shoe, I believe it's from 2009. Let me double check. Oh, sorry. 2007, maybe 2008. Um, okay. This is the Para Nike Air Max 95 Running Man. Mm-hmm. Um, Show the sole too. That that graphic yes. on the outsole. Yes, there's this. The graphic on the outsole. There's also the graphic on, on the, the tongue. tongue. Yeah, and, and there was the eBay. Yes, brought to us Can't by that. eBay yeah, Authenticity Guaranteed. There was also a Windrunner jacket mm-hmm. that came with this that was super fire. Mm-hmm. And small little thing is when i was working at a foot action store once they had inf- you know the infant crib shoes the ones that are like the little socks yeah they're not even real sneakers yeah for some reason they made this into a little infant sock really yeah and sold them at foot action which you wouldn't expect anyways so para air max 95 running mans mm-hmm. giving those away yes evan got a good pair and he yep. also asked a good, good cool. question what is your favorite friends and family sneaker you own, and do you consider it one of your grails? Hmm. You guys, you guys got to start us off here because so I don't really know if I have a lot of friends and family stuff, and I know Joe does. Yeah, so Joe is hopping right into it. <laughs> no, I appreciate. <laughs> I think we. I can speak for everyone. We appreciate all the friends and family shoes we get. Yeah. The, I would say that my favorite one, only because it could tie back or two favorites could tie back to two moments was and people are aware of this because it's yep. on camera the Macklemore six yeah. when mm-hmm. he gave me the green mm-hmm. the, the green friends and family six when we and were you said sh- don't sell them right yes. you said that on camera don't yes sell don't them. sell them and I wouldn't sell them and he we were in Seattle shooting his closet and we were talking about basically like 
or people asking you for pairs and he's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I still have to give this person. And then out of nowhere, like got yeah. my size, gave it to me on camera and- Were you blushing? I probably was, I probably was. It's like, that's a great, great gift. Yeah. And just definitely a pair that I'll keep forever. And really, I think we always talk about it. One of the celebrity mm-hmm. design Jordans that someone really nailed for like yeah. he did such Although a Michael great Jordan job. didn't like he didn't them, like right? the green. Yeah. Michael Jordan's <laughs> he didn't like the green. <laughs> Fuck these green shoes. Right? <laughs> but that one and then the Khaled leather, the, the blue, blue joints, the, the right? blue leather, yeah, yeah. which yeah, we it came with the case and we're on Life at Complex yeah. unveiling it. But uh definitely the those two stick out because they were just totally surprised. Yeah. I was just you totally surprised by them. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and do I consider it one of my grails? I guess a grail you have to be chasing, yeah. so it's it doesn't fall into that right. category. But, it, but it's one of your most two like, of my favorite yeah. shoes in it's my one collection. Of your most, like, yeah, precious shoes. Yeah, and one. I can't can't thank um, those guys enough. So yeah. that would be for for me. What about you, Welty? Uh, so I th- I would say that my most cherished uh, friends and family shoe that I own that I'm very lucky to own that i wish i didn't have to own was uh rest in peace gary warnett a friend of the program uh passed away a few years ago um sneaker writer historian Mm -hmm. all of that and um for his 40th birthday after he had passed they had i think it was reebok nike and adidas all there was a van shoe too yeah all made shoes for gary and they had done an adidas special Waterproof is well, I guess the waterproof was his favorite. I remember reading about the waterproof yeah. on his blog yeah. years ago. So that was Man, his that favorite. Blog, if you haven't yes, if you haven't read that blog, that yeah. blog has so many gems. Yes. Yeah. And um they ended up doing a pair inspired by his dog, um, an all white pair with a little bit of brown and pink hits on it. So beautiful shoe. Yeah. And you've worn those, right? Yeah, I've worn those uh, I think to like complex con and yeah. stuff like that. So just happy to have those. So, yeah. Joe, Amazing. have you have you worn either of those ones you mentioned, those friends and family Jordans? I've worn the Macklemores really once, I think. What yes. was the function? It might have been it wasn't a function. It wasn't a function. It may have been just to flex? No, it wasn't One to quick flex. Photo for the gram? I, I, I don't remember, honestly. Yeah. But I will tell you that I'm always thinking of wearing them for episodes for sneaker shopping, like a yeah. special episode. Yeah. And I cannot I, I just I don't want to ruin like with a with a fit that I'm not yeah, you, you know, that I'm not totally bought into. hundred percent sure about. Yeah. Exactly. But I definitely have worn the Macklemores. I haven't worn the Khaleds. Okay. You know, I I really, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if I have a good answer for this. I feel like I don't have a lot of friends and family shoes. Maybe I need more friends and more family. A lot of times I'll have the promo boxes or the special box or something like that. But I, there's nothing that really sticks out to me in terms of, and, and maybe somebody will watch this and get mad. Like, hey, we sent you this, you know. I, I, I don't know. I, I No? N- nothing super crazy, no. All right. Well, maybe when you go home and you see maybe, <laughs> and then we'll, we'll, uh, Circle back on next episode. Really, I'm really sure really that you have. You. Yeah, I don't know. Wealthy looks so disappointed in me. No, because right I'm no, because I'm trying to like my wheels are starting to yeah, spin in my he'll head. Remember. Because he, he'll remember. I know, and I honestly asked you because you know the yeah. stuff that I have, and I have a lot of random stuff. Because I was, I would guess that if you were to have a friends and family shoe, mm-hmm. if I had to like, it would be somewhere in the realms of like. Uh, a New Balance or yeah. like a Saucony or a Reebok, like one of those collaborations from maybe like, you know, one of the retailers that you know. That's that's what be my guess if you had a friends and family shoe. Yeah, like well, no one well, else had. Maybe maybe one day we'll get to design some friends and family oh, shoes. Oh yeah. Oh brand. yeah, we were we maybe, were happening. Maybe one day we'll get to design some friends and family shoes of the brand and the We project actually were won't. supposed to have friends and family Is that shoes happening? fall apart. We uh, we shouldn't talk we shouldn't say too much okay about it but but it it was was supposed to happen gonna happen but it didn't happen so okay (laughs) hopefully in the future it will happen anyways great pair yep evan bell headed to you thanks ebay all right i think it's time to bring in our guest for today 
Our guest on today's podcast is a comedian and a battle rapper who has been a mainstay on Nick Cannon's While and Out for over eight years. When it comes to sneakers, his closet features a mix of classics, old and new, but he has a ton of ultra-rare PEs that has solidified his collection as one of the best in entertainment. He's here to talk about his sneaker history and the love of the hunt. Please welcome our friend, Conceited, to the Complex Sneakers podcast. Who, 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 welcome. Who, who, who. How That's are you? Chilling, man. Chilling, man. Let me ask you this. We were thinking about, you know, the intro, and he said... He's a comedian and a battle rapper. In, in your bio, in your head, which one comes first at this point? Well, I mean, because I started off as battle rapping, that would always be first. Yeah. I mean, but I, mean, I guess it would be all around in an in entertainer. Yeah. yeah. Just like, just a medley. You you get conceited, you could just, just like a melting pot of whatever. So, may, he yeah. may spit a hot 16. Exactly. I mean. Yeah. The thing I need to know, though, between the two of you, who has a bigger hold on the SEO behind conceited? You or Remy Ma? That's a thing you need to know. No, I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, she just had a song. I mean, she, she, like, she, she made it a hot song. I made it a hot life. You know I mean, <laughs> fuck it. Yo, I mean, that's it. So I'm gonna yeah. go with me. Shout out, shout out to Remy though. So. How's it going? How's the trip been in New York? Good. Yeah, you know, it's always good to be back. So conceited. I'm I'm looking on Google right now, and you pop up before, before first. Remy Ma. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think the dictionary definition pops up first, but I think you're that you're count. on the that first. That doesn't count. Me. <laughs> so that's good. <sighs> How are you, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm okay. Mustache. How does it look? It looks good. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Thank you. What, what sneakers are we trying to get lately? I was talking to these guys right before you stepped on, and I feel like we're about to hit a little lull. Am I am I correct, or are you going crazy right now? I mean, I'm still always just looking for old, for old stuff that I either had or wanted. Mm -hmm. I mean, so that's really always my main focal point first. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the, the new things, I still don't have the trap highs. I have the lows. Mm -hmm. So anybody who got the highs... Eight, eight and a half, holla at me. PSA. Are you trying to pay the high for him? No, of course not. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to pay, pay the high. I'm definitely not paying the price that, that they are now. Mm -hmm. Are they up to like $4,000? That's really $4,000? Like, like, I mean, I think the first, the lowest I saw was $3,500. That was wow. like a week ago. Are you trading crypto or NFTs for sneakers? No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's I mean, just for money. Game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I do have a lot of stuff for like that I get free or retail that I would try to put together to sell. Then that can cushion the price okay. to get like a trash. Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling of you know let me let me budget this out and let me subsidize what I'm going to pay for that by selling this, getting rid of this, yeah, getting yeah, rid yeah, of that. Because I mean, you know, whenever, whenever they just send me, you know, some something I'm really not going to wear, like the Bumblebee or the yellow black Jordan ones. You don't like those Apollon ones? Nah, they straight, but it's just not for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that. Uh I'm still confused how you. And I got like four pairs of um, lightning, so I can get rid of oh, two. Oh, nice! So I will get rid of two of those. Need you, those. You post like you used to post your pickups a lot on YouTube, where you're like, "Oh, the eight sneakers I bought this week," and I'm mm -hmm. like, "This guy just spent twenty thousand dollars on shoes this yeah, week." Like, how do you? Is I mean, are the while and out checks that good? Or are you like budgeting? They are out? decent. <laughs> they are very, very, very good. So shout out to MTV. Well, they gotten good. They gotten good. At first, I mean. I don't know if I can even buy a, a shoelace, but as you get, get on there, <laughs> and then you learn business, yeah. and then you have management and re yeah, yeah, representation yeah. and lawyers, then they tell you, Yo, are you fucking crazy? Can I say that? No? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, okay, please. good. All right. So when there's like, yo, are you bugging? Do you not know you can do this? You can ask. It's, it never hurts to ask. Yeah. So now but, you just shoot for the damn moon. But right? I mean, like when you're like buying $20,000 worth of shoes, are you like, I'm trading this for this and budgeting this out and... I mean, this it, it, would, it would just be a mix of all, of all. Like, if there's stuff that I have that I know I'm not gonna gonna wear that I got for trade bait that I happen to get for retail. Like, let's say if I get like when the Travis Sixes came yeah, get, get, came out both. Mm -hmm. Um, each each time I had like three or four pairs. I mean, the UNC off off whites I had like three. Wow, the Jordan I mean, ones. Yeah, yeah. So you know, when I get stuff like yeah, I get like that, and it's all like retail or free. I mean, because one of the off whites was I'm free, two was at retail. I mean, I'll get rid of two to put towards what, what, whatever, something crazy. This makes me so happy to hear because I feel like sometimes people, I guess there's certain people who are entertainers, who are rappers, who are not that engaged of like being able to spend the time of trading stuff and selling mm -hmm. stuff. But, it, it, you know, it's like celebs. They're just like us. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm surprised that you you know, are going to spend the energy to, to, to do those type of well, trades. It's either that or you spend the fucking duffel bag for it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't want I don't want to do that. I, I have, but, I mean, I would definitely rather cushion or try to get an even amount by giving, you know, a whole, like a whole bunch of lots for just 
something crazy. Yeah. Would you actually wear? For a while and out, would you consider yourself like the resident sneakerhead? Because I shot 100%. I shot Nick Cannon's closet. He had a special makeup Jordan Seven. While and out, have you? Did you get a pair, or was it a one on one? And do you ever? Wow. Talk, hold on. Do you ever talk to Nick about Jordans every and day. stuff? Every day, every single time that me and him link up. So that um, seven was supposed to be for the cast. That's what I figured. I thought <laughs> maybe you would have cast a pair. Crew, yeah. You're on the cast. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I figured maybe be. even you helped with like the design or or something. Nah, like I that. wish I didn't even know anything ab about okay. it. Okay. And then when he had, it, he said, "Yeah, I got some sevens what? coming. To, you know, they they're gonna be for um everybody on the cast." Mm hmm. So I'm hyped. I'm like, oh, it's lit. Yep. And then I seen him. I'm like, cool. Cannot wait. Whatever happened with, with Jordan Brand, it didn't work out. I don't know what happened. I don't know anything about it. What year was that? So, Maybe damn, I couldn't four, even tell you. He, he Maybe 2017. Yeah. That's 20, 2017. I, I guess it's a good looking shoe. It's a, no, it's, I, it's I, a really I, good I looking remember, seven. I remember. I remember that. Yeah. I was gonna guess and say 20, 20, 2017, but that's what. Yeah, Joe maybe said. it was a little earlier, but I I think we saw them in twenty seventeen. But I always wondered, like, I know that you being such a big sneaker guy, if how close you were to this or how the project. Or, Very far. Or, yeah, <laughs> <I've> never, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't have one. I've never even. Oh no, no I, I seen him in person when he actually wore them. Now okay. the only good thing is he did say I can have his pair. Wow, nice. So, so you have shout a pair. Out to Nick. No, 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 no. He said I can have his pair. Are you guys the same like size? size? No, he's like a size twelve. So what are you going to do with it? I'm just going to have it and Did put it in the case or something. Yet? I mean, it's, it is the only one. Yeah. I mean. They only made one pair. Yeah. That's, wow. that's it. So that's cool. Nick offered to, to give you his size, one of one, size 12. It's a good looking shoe, but. Mm. How many pairs of socks will we stuff in there, by the way, if, if you if you have to wear a size 12? Because you're eight and a half. <laughs> yeah. Eight, eight and a half. So um, I may have to put a shoe on. <laughs> you're going to uh, stuff your pants yeah, into I mean, the shoes too. But Nick has those, what, like million dollar Loafers. You know what's yes. funny? He has two pairs. Yeah. He has one with the real diamond. Yep. And then he has basically like the replicas. The yes. decoy. Yeah, yes. That like the cubic wear, zarconius. Yeah. The tuck your chain in. So on, whatever <laughs> it is. I mean, that he would wear those, I guess, you know, when it's just time to play around and then bring out the big Would that be those. something you'd be trying to one-up just to say that you have it over him? What? The million-dollar I mean, loafers? You, to get something because, you know, like Ye the Yeezys just went for... Which is yeah, but his sneaker dollars. collection is. I know, I know, I know. But just have that one pair to say that you just have the ultimate one up on Nick Cannon. I mean, I would love to have a crazy sneaker like that. <laughs> if there was one, like if I had the um, Yeezys and they were my size. But I think I would never have stuff that's not my size and pay for it. Thank mm. you. Like, we yeah. had this discussion. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's an important ago. part about collecting. If you're a real collector, that having something that's not your size doesn't really count, or there's there's almost it no point to no, it, even it, if you're going to sell doesn't. it one day. But then, see, here's the thing. A collector and a, I guess, consumer is, is different. Yeah. You know I mean, so I guess somebody who collects sneakers doesn't wear sneakers, collects it, right? Just to look good on the gram or whatever. Which is important. Yeah, I guess is. <laughs> I guess I, I guess it's different. Is I mean, I don't see it. I don't respect it really. But you don't I, respect what having having random sizes. Yeah, as, just as part of your like, yo, I just like this because I just got the size. 15 yeah. even for because, archival stuff yeah like, just but that's but that should be there's nothing wrong with but it you, it's just me so you yeah they they basically correct not correcting me but i got a pair of michael johnson trainers like the sneaker that mm. they released uh, the jst yeah, yeah and i got it not in my size and you I was, bought it yeah off ebay nothing uh, crazy though it wasn't okay. that crazy but it's like you can't find them right but right, i right. just remember the black and gold sneaker and i was like happy to get them and they weren't in my size and these guys were like <laughs> we didn't eh, shit on you you know Come the jay-z gif where it was like <laughs> Wait, eh. so how do but we... then it, it was actually good valid points made but then how do you feel about someone like you know you have people like dependable jay who's a uh, shout out come mm -hmm. on the podcast someday. i don't know i guess I, i'm gonna have to be you know where they're like a pe collector here. but they're obviously not collecting right in their size because they're trying to collect Warren Sapp, Air Jordan, right. Game Warren Cleaves. Mm, and that's okay. what I'm going to be devil okay. advocate at and be like, with Dependable J, he he gets the pass. I mean, yeah. it's just, sneakers is not here to make sense. It's here, I mean, it doesn't. And my, now, if you go by, yo, I just cop these Jordan ones in a size 12 Royalty? or whatever size, yeah. <laughs> even ones? though I know he doesn't wear Nikes <laughs> at all. Yeah. I've never even seen you in a pair of Jordans ever. Never. Uh, have I, you ever had one ever? I in life? did. I did wear. You said. You said. Wait. You said like you had the Aqua Eights and like yes. yeah, or something. Yeah. 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 No. But I had. Um, I had the the Union. I had the Union Guavas. Oh right. I wore those on full yeah. size run a couple seasons ago. Holy. I love good that. Good pair to have. Growth. I got to see a picture of that. One. Growth, good baby. pair to have. <laughs> I see that. Nice. 
Uh, and um, I do have the Amamanier. Shout out, James. The threes. The threes. You you wear one. I like Lovely. that shoe. Uh, shoe of the year so far? Is that yes, it? Yes, yes. I agree. Okay. How I many pairs so you far? got? I got one. Yeah, are, and anything I got, close? And I got one for my girl, huh? Anything close? I like to try lows a lot. Okay. I, lo- and, I really like to try lows. For the record, I don't like lows. Like yeah. lows, like lows low in general. Ones. Or no, 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 no. Low. It's just like I really don't like when they take us a, a silhouette that we're already used used to and then make them yeah. low. And I mean, yeah. like, I feel like you're secretly one of those guys who's like, or not secretly, but you're like Jordan fourteen low, like rare colorway sort of. Not Jordan fourteen low, but fourteens. Yes, but I, I mean have, like the that crazy nines. fourteen, the upper, the upper. No, the fifteen. Sorry, I misspoke. The, oh, the fifteens. Yeah. I have crazy fourteens too, though. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like the more like obscure, like you know, higher numbered Jordans that came out in lows. I feel like you maybe have some of those, but um, no, not really. I have thirty. The uh, what's it? The JBC thirteens, the black and gold ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have those. Um, as far as lows, uh, seventeens. I have a couple low seventeens that are crazy. That's really about it as far as, like, crazy lows and, like, crazy colors. Do you regret letting go of anything you mentioned earlier? That sometimes I don't let go of anything that I would re- regret. Anything yeah. that I'm, I mean. But have you re- lost something or something got destroyed? We just had a hurricane here in New York. People are dealing with water damage yeah, and stuff like that. Which is crazy. Um, nah. The, I've lost a pair of True Blue threes when they came out when I was in high school. Yeah. How devastating was that? Because in high school, then it's it's it you was, know that's a big chunk of your maybe you don't even cra- have a collection. Yeah, or, it was crazy because obviously I had them, loved them. I had on a, a, a Bugs Bunny Iceberg shirt to go with it. Crazy, Ooh, about it. lit, right? So I'm gonna go see this chick, and I'm yeah, and I'm on my bike. Yeah, I was going to my man's house after. I had on a book bag. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, I don't want to go over there with a book bag looking corny. <laughs> you know, me on a bike. So look, let me hide it right here in these in the, yeah in, in these um, bushes. This cool. is in Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. So I, I go drive. I mean, ride, 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 ride my bike. <laughs> go talking up. Boom, 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 boom. Whatever, whatever. I right, boom. I'm out. I go back to the spot. They got jacked. The I'm whole like, bag or the they whole, left the, the bag? The whole book bag. Okay. The whole book bag. So I'm going crazy. I'm like, nah. I'm like, was it this spot? I'm checking. <laughs> now Now I'm checking a block bag yep. all the way yep. up. I'm Do like, yo, geocaching. oh my goodness. Yo. Yeah. So I see this kid. I'm like, yo, did you see anybody in here? Like, yeah, I saw a car stop right here, get get out and just pick picks them up and leave. Do you think like, they saw you put it there? Had to have. Yeah. Had to have. I it mean, was, it was properly it's, concealed. It's either that or... Or maybe I just didn't hide it as as good as I thought. Yeah. And they drove by. I was like, hold on, son. There goes a the bag. And they, <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Did you put go. up like a poster around the neighborhood? Lost. Nah, True nah. I mean, I just, yeah, we, we, yeah, when, when I went to my man's crib, and of course, he had a pair too. Yeah. So and I'm just like, yo, I just lost my shit, man. From that era, what, besides this sto- this unfortunate story, what shoes stand out for you coming up? Like being in Brooklyn, I guess what, high school, yeah. middle school? Um, I'll tell you the one that stood out to me crazy, and it was a dude that came from another school, because um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we all we, we all did. We would go to like other schools mm-hmm. at like the end of the day, I mean, to like catch their let out. I mean, you would have to cut, obviously, your last class mm-hmm. to, get the, to, to, to get there, exactly, <laughs> as nobody should. <laughs> but I remember this dude came, came through. The first day he came, because he was talking to a chick at home school, the first time I ever seen it was the half and half Jordan jersey, mm-hmm. Bulls Wizards. Okay, right. So An era. Like, so we're going crazy, right? Look at yo, look at his face. He's like yo, yeah, yo. Buddy. Back then it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. And his man came, his, and his man came through with a half and half Mike Michael Vick. Okay, right. But here half was Mike the, half. No, no, no. Half Jordan, half Fal- no, 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 no. Okay. Vick, 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 <laughs> black. It was just black and, and red. Take one, Vick Jordan you know? Jackson. Um. <laughs> And actually, the crazy part is with the half and half uh, Jordan, he actually had on the True Blue threes too. Okay. But this was the shoe that I would say that I probably went the craziest for when he came through with it, and it was the Espos, the Air Force Twos. <sighs> I just he came through with those with the sky blue sock and everything. See I lost Ooh, the yeah. sock. my mind. Yeah, lost it because people hadn't seen shoes like that I'm yet like, then. I'm like, yo. Nah, 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 nah. And I'm not the type to ever go, so I was never going to talk to him, but his shorty had my class. She would t- text him and, and call him, yo, tell your mans, yep. I need that pair of shoes, do yep. whatever, I don't care, yo, wow. whatever, whatever. And, I mean, of course, it didn't happen then, but- Did you know I what they know. were at the time? Because of this, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Well, okay, no, let, let me not say, when I first seen them, yeah. when I first seen them, I was like, yo, those are crazy. I obviously knew they were Air Force Twos right. and, yeah, and everything, but- that day, that day, I'm I'm home, Researching. calling, going Nike talk, doing all this. So yeah, I'm yeah, figured yeah. out, like yo. But I mean, I have them now. So 
What a great pair. That's I, best, actually. I search for them online it's sometimes. It's not an easy yeah. shoe to find. No. no, no, no there's no, only a 14. Only, yeah. I, oh. I, I, I check every few weeks. It's only really a 14. Are they, they wearable right now? Uh, yeah. That's shoe. That's yeah, shoe because shoe. the sole, right? Yeah, it's yeah. fine. No, no, yeah, yeah, they're wearable. Mine are, like, good. I have, really? I have, I have two pairs. I have one, one pair wow. that looks disgusting. Wow. And I have another pair that's... And Still you have the clear, socks and everything? Still, yeah, yeah, everything. How, how big were OG you? box signed by Espo, socks, that, all that. Hell yeah. That's a grail? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's hell a yeah. grail. One of, it's definitely one of one, one of mine for sure, and especially because of the story with it. I yeah. mean, me seeing son with him, and I'm just like, yo, I need Were his toe boxes foggy when you saw it, or in your mind, is it a crystal clear? His? Yeah. Nah, nah, his was good. I mean, they were new at No, the but time. Sweat, sweating them up, you know? Oh, I yeah. I mean, like from that. what I remember, nah. I don't... I and what half and half was it? It was... What colors? Jordan. Jordan. It was red. It was red... Bulls, white wizards. Yep. That's how, ill. How big were you on the see-through sneaker trend back then? I mean, of course, because when they came out with all the flavors, made me hate them. Mm -hmm. and I yeah. mean, that was the crazy. You see everybody in school or Invisible wherever woman. when you're on the yeah. block with wild colors that never, ever <laughs> existed. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what made me hate that that yeah that whole thing. But, of course, when they first came out, the Invisible Women's and all that, yeah. were like, oh, shit, it's fire. Were you trying to expose people for fakes back all in the time. day? All the time. You were all, calling all people out in yes, high school class? all the class. time, all the time. It's just something that, you know what I mean, you just had to do you, you just had to get in a fight over this shit? Nah. Nah, it was never no... Because I, my thing is... I would never really do it to, like, somebody I don't really know. Exactly. Like, I never know if it's if it's the correct... And I think we spoke about this on here before. I never know if it's right to tell somebody because you want them to know, but also I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. If but they're close to you, I It, it, it depends if they're into sneakers or not, I guess. Here's the thing. The thing is, as I always say... Niggas know they got fakes. You think? It's, it's not like when for the, a lot of times when somebody got fakes, they know. Especially back then. You bought back then the it shop. wasn't. It's not like it was something that yeah that oh it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. There is there is none of that. You got that from the Blade barber shop. Bobo, you got yeah. that from the gas station. Right. I mean, there was no. Right. You know now you can get something from one of these sites and it can be fake. Yeah. yeah. It, it could be authenticated. You do and all that. Not, not eBay. Fake. Right, except for eBay. <laughs> well, because once you see that tag, baby. Right. We had that conversation, Joe, when you did the baby. Uh, sneaker shopping, right? Where he said mm -hmm. he got the Jordans from the sneaker man, and I'm like, dude, that that's like a sign that the shoes are fake. And mm -hmm. we, I remember we had the debate: how do you know that they're fake or not? Whatever. I'm just like, if you're getting colorways from a guy who's selling out the back of his truck and haven't been out yet, it just doesn't or, like, or never will be out. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, I don't like to cop early. I don't buy early. It's scary, right? Yeah, I don't buy early. Unless Interesting. It is I, yeah. Okay, so. You don't buy early. No. And that so if you could get them a few weeks early on a reselling site, you won't do it. No, 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 you know, no, no. What was it? Marquee sure Souls or what was the Marquee yeah. Souls? Wow. The black remember Air the black? Yeah. Wait, wasn't every <laughs> was image black? Yeah. Black. Yeah. black image with the gray. Yes. Marquee Souls. Mark on the yes. Yeah. Marquee Souls. Air Randy. Skip, skip to my shoe. Air Randy. Air Randy. Talk about it. Of course, my favorite of all time, pick your shoes. So shout out to the dude who owns bait. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was yep. my favorite yep, of, yep, yep. of all time. Wow, Marquis Soul, the black <laughs> images. How many did we see it yeah. nonstop? All right, so you won't in June, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so you won't buy early. Mm. Too we... risky, you think? Yes. Unless wow, it's directly from a store or, or right, unless of course, of course. You know, I mean, obviously, obviously, yeah. you know, I mean, the usual if it's if it's from a store, from from the brand, from what well, that's really it. That's yeah. that's, that's really because we were talking about that I think last week or whatever where it was like. You know, the whole era of when stores used to sell Jordans, like, the week before they came out, and then mm -hmm. dudes would just show up to Foot Locker to try to flex on you that I'm like, you, oh, these are coming out tomorrow, but I already have them. I'm like, dude, like, mm -hmm. why are you wasting all your energy on trying to, like, stunt on the guy who works at Foot Locker? That's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. Actually, I mean, that's a, it was, it, it was a time. There yeah. was. It, it was. I would say, I, I feel like, and I said this the other day. kicks early, I guess... The thing is, maybe it's maybe because we were in school, so we actually had a reason to get them early to go the flex, yeah, versus everybody school. else. And but now yeah. you now you can't now, really be first because you're on the internet and yeah, somebody exactly. else had them first. Yeah, yeah, and what you can do? But working in a sneaker store, wealthy, yeah. you said how much? Fifty to seventy five. It was something like you know people would pay like fifty, sixty bucks or whatever it, to get it. It was it was always it wasn't even like a month early. It was always like the week of, yeah, but like but three I don't days know. in there advance. Was, there was something about it. I, the ice blue tens, the the universe, the white with mm -hmm. the ice I, blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely did that for finish line because I remember it matched the <laughs> navy blue polo. Finish line got those? No, I went around the corner. No, no, I went around the corner to a mom and pop shop yeah. and got them. I think for like fifty to seventy five yeah. more, and I just remember wearing them. A like a week early with the navy blue polo. It definitely was a thing, though. And now it's way more expensive yeah. to get them early than it was. And mm -hmm. The other thing, too, that 
we were discussing that doesn't really exist anymore, and I'm sure you have a lot of experience of this, is just going to the mall to flex your sneakers. That's the I was talking to my man's about that. Why not? Because the malls don't really exist anymore. You yeah, know what I mean? Where, like, but you could wear. But but like, I used to. The mall, you know, like going to the mall, to, that's like the place where you the wanted Kanye to stunt your shoes. That was my thing at one point. Mm -hmm. I would say in. Which mall? 2000. Well, go to KP. Well, this is when I was in New York. Um, it would be King's Plaza. Yeah. Queen mm -hmm. Center. Um, but in in Florida now, it would be, it was a uh, mall called. Pembroke Lakes Mall and okay. Aventura Mall. Yeah. And even Sawgrass, actually. Yeah. So that used to be like, yo, all all the time, I would go get, obviously, the rarest kicks that I had at the time, me me and my man, to just go. And back, back then, you know, it was just breaking everybody's neck. I was really big on OGs. So okay. this is, you know, I'm bringing out 93 Dion's, bringing out yeah. Shaq. Yeah. Nice. Gnosis. And you know, the yeah. nice thing is this, if you're this, on, this, if this you're on the escalator, when... they're not going to crease because, you know, you just stand still. <laughs> you go up and down. Yeah. <laughs> this is when, no, like, they were not retro and none of this. I had yeah. Griffey's. I'm talking Chris Chris Webber's, mm. Air Max 2 of Tempo's, Total Form Positive. All none this of this shit stuff that... is falling apart at that point? None. None. The only one that did fall that, that did fall apart on me, which is, that I saw, um... PJ do it was actually the um Arrow James. Mm. And I couldn't yeah. believe oh, it. the Grandma Moss yeah. Converse. Walking and I'm like, oh shit. And I just felt felt it flat. Uh -uh. <laughs> and then my and my sister was like, yo, what is all this black crumble shit on the floor behind you? I'm like, ooh. Damn. Over. Like this now. In <laughs> just in the mall. Boom. Yo, yep. we, yo, we gotta go to the car. We gotta go to the yep. car. Crazy. <laughs> That's when you need the escalator. Yeah. Then, again, you don't have to move. You just crazy. Go right down. It's crazy. But um, <laughs> but yeah, that used to be a thing. But now doing it into the mall, I don't know if like who's really at the mall now. That's, That's what I mean. Thing. Yeah, like you said, it shut down. Like who's really looking down? Like oh, you know what I mean? You know, back then everybody was going. The first thing they look at, yes, feet. Well, boom. the the thing always used to be you'd go to Foot Locker to buy the shoes, and then you go to Lids to try to buy like the matching the fitted. <laughs> And I know you being a matchy guy, that was... Yeah, of course, a fitted is always... I mean, still. still Whatever. Man. I still think you go to the mall with a nice pair of sneakers and you go to the food court, it's a nice, enjoyable hour. Grab an orange, Julius. Yeah. yeah. I, I, actually, I remember on Nike Talk people saying, you know, go go to the Foot Locker the week beforehand and see if they'll let you prepay for a pair of Jordans. That never... You know, so you didn't have to wait in line. And well, they usually you would buy a, you'd buy a gift card. That's what it was. You'd go to Foot Locker, you'd buy a gift card for the amount of money. Okay. And if you knew the guy they'd have like an envelope or Ooh. envelope however you pronounce it uh <laughs> full of gift cards with people's names and phone numbers on them wow. and then the either you would get it early or like this the day the shoe dropped you'd kind of have your pair reserved and then they would swipe the gift card on it that was wow, the whole that, oh, so I, I remember i tried to do it that one was time the and the, the woman working there was just like no and i was like okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> like i never tried again <laughs> it's crazy, but like you, like you were saying, like he was saying, like you, he said he still think he could just go, just go to the mall, food court, which sneakers being so oversaturated now. Like mm -hmm. I don't even think it's even like if you was to go in something, let's say some, Travis Scott's, Travis Scott Jordan. Well, see, I don't want to go to that route because that is like super big, yeah. big now. So something like if he was to go into something crazy, but like older, like a uh, lit Air Force One. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's say if even a. PlayStation Air Force One. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's people there that's really gonna know. Nope. Right. Like, yo, Joe got on. Or like Busy Peas. No one or like know Busy, that. My favorite Air Force One of all time, might I add. Yeah. Might I add. No, I have two love pairs those. of those. Love them. No one would really, yeah. And like, they probably would just think that's some custom. Yeah. They might think, oh, that's just in the store somewhere and I just didn't see it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's just so oversaturated, so many colors of. Jordans, Air Force Ones. Now, even if you go come with some straight crazy PEs, people can be like, oh, okay, just was, boom. Was it different then? So growing up where I grew up, you know, not a lot of people were into shoes just as a whole. So if you saw someone even with like a pair of like Air Max 95s or Air Force Ones or Jordans on SBs, you're like, oh, that person's actually into shoes. And like, you kind of want to have a conversation with them because it's like, I'm talking like 06, you know, where it was mm -hmm. like, there was some sort of connection, but I'm assuming you growing up in Brooklyn, it was like, you just see everyone with Jordans and Air Maxes mm -hmm. all the time. So you can't really like gauge whether someone 
was in the shoes, but did you still kind of know back then when someone else had something rare on, you're like, of oh, course. we're going to have I'm, a go? Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. You would know. I mean, you yeah, you would know. You know, everybody would have this and that, but, you know, when it gets to the, you know, when Jordan's you know, dropping, like, the light like stuff, stuff like the Ice yeah. Blue 10s and yeah. Linen 10s mm-hmm. and all that, you know, all that kind of stuff. The lifestyle and the, release. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah. Chartreuse 14s and yeah. you know, all that type type <laughs> shit. So then when you see that, you're like, oh, okay, all right, you're, now you know. He's about his, his business, and especially when people was like even getting metallic fives, but but with the Nike Air in the back, Jordan yeah. fours with the Nike Air, and we was just going crazy. Like, yo, he got the ones with the Nike Air. This is obviously way before they were doing the retros. Now, right, right, right. I mean, so that's how you really, really knew. Something random. Were were you in New York for the Lightning Seventeens? The these. This no, was like I a know big, the Lightning Seventeens. This was are. like a with big. The case? Yeah, this was I, a I know big the Lightning New York Seventeens are. Early shoe and only. I, I, I wasn't, but I don't even have those. Never had them, and I love them, and I want them. Two thousand, I think. Yeah, it was around two thousand two. Yeah, two thousand two. I only say that because this was a big like New York. I think only athletes foot got him, but it was a big. If you had, it was one of those shoes. It's related to this because it was one of those shoes that if you had them on in the mall, people were like, "What store has them in the mall?" And no stores had them. I think like athletes foot got them only mm. in our area. Yeah. I, I, I was saying, you had him? I got him. I got him at Athlete's Foot in Massapequa Mall, and then I went to work. And you also weren't allowed to right, wear shoes. Trouble, I, get, yeah. I got in trouble all the time. Did, did I tell you that when I went? I don't know if I, so if I've told the story, just cut it off. We cut it out. There was a, <laughs> when I was in college the first time in New Hampshire, there was a girl who lived on the floor above me okay. and wasn't into sneakers at all, but she had a bong and she kept it in a Jordan 17. <laughs> box that she had gotten from her brother and I guess her brother living in the suburbs of Connecticut her parents her parents had just bought him Air Jordan 17s mm-hmm. for $200 and just that was like years prior to this because this is like 2007 at the time and I never heard that just, story just yeah just uh, gave his sister the sneaker the metal the, the metal okay. case yeah. and, yeah. and she kept her bong in it another funny <laughs> story about another fun story about the, those lightnings I remember do you guys remember there was 5 for 20 t-shirts but then they yes. started doing like five for thirty polos, I remember. I don't remember that. A Foot Locker. You, yeah, I remember they the started doing it with polos, and I remember buying like a black polo, and then I had two yellow and red <laughs> undershirt uh, t-shirts <laughs> under it. Yes, <laughs> maybe the worst fit at UConn what, I've ever worn. You, you, I just you had three shirts on. Yes, like Steve th- Bannon with the multiple. Colors. And I remember <laughs> like I flipped up, so all three layers. It was the worst fit I've I've ever what had. Size, but it was with what the size lightning. was the polo? It wasn't. It was, Wait, they weren't. What size white tees were you wearing back in the day? <laughs> Dresses. Four X, three X, all the time. What an era. Galaxies, cotton nets, all the time. <laughs> you really had three shirts on. One thing I was, yeah, it was rough. And and I had like a Pittsburgh Pirates with the red brim and the black fitted. Yeah, it was rough. You trying to find a photo? Uh, I, think the, I, I think I actually have one. With the super duper big tall tee on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How much money have that. you given to Hat Club? <laughs> a lot. A whole lot of money. <laughs> There's no sort of sponsorship deal or? I, I mean, they, they, they look out a lot. Oh, look. They go one. Right here. <laughs> hey, wait. Pass it to me and I'll. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, there goes one. I love this. I love this. <laughs> Super big team. Wow. Fitted Amazing. Yep. Wow. What an era. Mm-hmm. What size fitted? Size eight? No, nah, hell no. I would never. The biggest fitted I ever wore was seven three fourths. That's the regular. You remember the Nike talk meme? What up? My hat too big? <laughs> of course. Of Yo, course. This is crazy. I look <laughs> insane, son. You guys talk about early sneakers. I said this the other day. I feel like the best time to wear a sneaker is five weeks before it comes out or five years after it comes out. Wow. F- that's a long range, though. You know what I mean? Because either you have it beforehand or you have it still crispy way after everybody else has worn theirs out. Because if you have it in the weeks right after it came out, it's just not that special. Hmm. I don't know. I like them whenever, whenever I get them. Yeah. I, I don't really. Are have you a no... straight to feet person? Or yeah. I mean, if like if I have something to rock to rock with it, yeah. Like really, I I, I got oh, I got five ice years. I we're getting just... up there though. Five years. We, we, we're getting up there. Are you, you going to die soon? Is no, but five years. <laughs> so you're saying if we have the Travis ones in five years? Yeah, and they're. Oof, I don't know. You never bought anything where you're like, I'm going to hold on to this and never like kill it with them and. Never. I mean, it was like, yeah, I'm going to hold on to this until I find something to rock with it. But not like, yo, I'm going to wait until everybody finishes theirs and then back and then back mine out. Never. I want I, I want to wear them as soon as possible. As soon as, as soon as I get them, I want to. 
I had this convo, I think, with Javi, and mm-hmm. it was super random. But, like, to that point, I I think I was saying, like, you know, these this shoe would be, like, a cool surprise if you're, like, your kid's in intramural soccer, or not intramural soccer, but, like, travel soccer. Yeah. And, you like, you're on the soccer. thinking about getting old. Like, no, no, I had this. I had it about this, like. had it about this <laughs> specific shoe, and I'm, like, and I'm, like, you know, you, yeah, like, your kid's playing travel soccer, and, like, you just show up in a regular dad fit, but it was around the Supreme Camo Fives. Okay. And I was like, you know, think of just like a regular dad fit, but then the surprising people with the Supreme Camo Fives. Like, Jason Sudeikis style? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. But I was like, there's some shoes like that that I think of maybe saving, but I couldn't think of yeah, five years. Five saving weeks? though? What? Just yeah, why I don't... wear it and just wear it then? You save a lot. Because everybody has it right then. I want to be the guy who still has it crispy half a decade later that's a long time to wait though i mean so what you rather just like you mean like not wear it what about just wear it moderately maybe maybe for a full size round episode yeah something like that you're we were watching the fsr before you came and i know that kind of the stories you're telling are related to it but the hunt was a big thing a big theme yeah in that episode what like updated, I feel like every time we talk to you, we could we could see what you were hunting for lately. Has there been one that I don't know, even this New York trip or or what? Nah, there really hasn't been. Um, well, I mean, the shoe that I've been hunting for lately, and I happen to get, which is crazy, mm. Entourage Air Force Ones. Okay, I was hunting for them. For a very, 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 oh, I heard very about that. Time. Yes, <laughs> friend of the program. He's oh, like, is it? He's always like, hate him. But he's I, a, hate him, but I love him. He's <laughs> always like, he's always like, yo, what's up with your man's always lowballing me in all these shoes? He says that about everyone, oh, though, right? Yo, and he, I'll be trying to hit him like, yo, my man, what PG, are you right? Doing? We yeah, like, yo, but what are you do? like, yo? These are astronomical <laughs> shit that you are doing. What are you doing, man? So, and he'd be like, yo, man, I can't. I'm like, yo, this guy's crazy, man. But, but you end up getting the shoes, not yeah, from yeah, Paul, so but ended up. Getting them. He knows where you got it. Do you no, know no, where no, you I'm got saying no. <laughs> he, had, he had hit me about that, and he's like, it was that specific shoe where he's yeah. like, and you were like trying to send him other prices to compare. You're like, this is how much it's selling Damn, for PG, right now. PG look, sharing right, so, your so, celebrity so, clientele. <laughs> so look, so so, so look. About it, talk so about it. here is the thing, right? Everybody uses StockX only to only compare, right? But only to their advantage. It's like a right. Beckett for at, sneakers. I'm talking about it will and, and it will flip. Right. It will, so. It's like, are you looking at the last sale, at the average sale price? Yeah. So, but yes. look, all right, so if if I, let's say you had a consignment shop, yeah. and I came I in and tried, I only sell on eBay. And, tried to, and let's say you had an eBay shop, right? And I come through, and I'm like, yo, so, and speaking of eBay, with all this eBay drops, I'm looking for that sneaker partner deal. Yachty was supposed to get it for me, and he didn't, so Yachty, what's up? Thank you. Now, boom, let's say you have your eBay sneaker shop, mm-hmm. and I want to come sell you a pair of cakes. Yo, let me get this, then you're going to offer me you're going to show me either the last sale or mm-hmm. I don't know if people know they go to that uh where they click sale and then they click um and then I like see what the highest offer is or something like that. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. bids yeah. on it, yeah. Yeah, something. Um and I'll be like, "Yo, but yo, yo, but look, they're going for 500 500. You yeah. want to give me 3." I mean, you're probably most likely going to say that doesn't count. It goes by the last sale, it goes by yeah. this. Right. Okay. <laughs> Now, I bet if I wanted to buy something from you, right. and I tried to show you the last sale, you're gonna be like, right. "Yo, look at what they're going for." <laughs> right? People, people are willing to pay this much. Like, like yo, yes. and that's the thing that I yeah, don't yeah, get. Yeah. Now, look, the thing, the, the thing with StockX, I hate that the the the, the listing price. That shit does not count. The only thing, if you want to go to StockX, you to have use it to, as a reference. right? You have yeah. to either go with the last, the last sale, sold, yeah. or the Average or at price. least yeah. at least. The offer. That's something with somebody that is statistical data. But that is what somebody's like the, willing to I feel like to the pay. offers, yeah. the offers are I feel like a lot of the times though, it's the say say the 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 price that they're trying to sell them for is like eight hundred and then the offer is like four hundred. I feel like the actual price is somewhere in the middle in though. In between. And I one hundred percent agree with that. Obviously there's stuff within reason. I mean, I see stuff like stash uh stash Air Force One's the I um, need highs. Those. Oh, uh, I need the lows. Right, right. Um, well, well, yeah. The highs, yeah. the um, one, the uh, one night only. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, you have a pair? Um, I'm trying to get one. Okay, um, new ones or the old ones? Because remember the, they, the, they, the old ones. Yeah, the old yeah. ones. So there's a uh, there was a pair for, I said asking price was probably like nine hundred, twelve hundred dollars. 
But of course, the highest bid was like 125, 200, because you know, somebody who just doesn't know probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to count that. I mean, I'm yeah. not going to count that. I would assume. It means nothing. Right, exactly. So, I mean, I, I, so I, I can understand if, some, if somebody wants 900, 800, and if, I, if somebody was to offer seven, I, I can understand that within reason. But then when you be like, yo, look at the highest offer, 15,000, last sale is yeah. 4,000. Yeah. And then you want to say, all right, that was two years ago. Cool. All right. So put another two, three thousand. Yeah, on it. we're not getting up to fifteen. Yeah. Right. Right. So yeah. I mean, nobody's paid that much. That is the thing, but that when people use that StockX for um for um, for, for references, but PG he did this. He he did the same thing. <laughs> he sent <laughs> me. He you know what? Let me tell you. <laughs> he sent me the um. He needs the money because price. last time we went out to dinner with him, his credit come card on. got declined for thirty five dollars. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so and he was he, he was at the casino this past weekend, and he, he was asking me for a little bit of bread to hold while he was there too. So Damn. He definitely. <laughs> bro. <laughs> all in good what? fun. All in good fun. So just so you know why PG is trying to hit you over the head is he, you're sitting he's here. Got you're gonna to just pay. let him. He's got bills. <laughs> to I mean, pay. if he's saying it, I don't know what to say. Shout out to PG. Yeah. Man. Shout he's, to PG. he's definitely a legend. He knows. Definitely. Definitely a legend. Like I said I love him and 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 I hate him. I love him because he has all the ill shit and he doesn't care. He would tell you, my man, it's what it costs. Do you, do you feel like being that you know you're a person of notoriety and you're trying to get these shoes when you hit people up? Yeah. Do you feel like they, you know, try to head crack you a little bit because like oh it's conceded he has to have money? Like why is he lowballing? I never thought of it like that. I've always thought of it as I'm conceded they're gonna look out. I mean, I never looked at it from that from from, from that point. So but you have a, to think though, like if you're a secret reseller and just to, not to think anything, but if it's like PJ Tucker or Wale or Fat Joe, like you know, big celebrity sneakerheads hitting you up for the shoe. Obviously, they know their prices mm -hmm. and stuff. But then in the back of your head, people are probably like, "I know these people have money," you know. So it's like, where does it fall? Like you, I know. You. See, I would always think. Well, it's thought. I mean, now I got to take that into consideration. I would always would have thought it was like, oh shit, it's conceited or it's PJ or it's or it's whoever. Yeah. I want to sell to them, so let me give them the best possible price that I actually can. So they shout me out on Instagram. Yeah, and say, Yo, but I mean, me obviously now nah, they're probably like, I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> Pay this ticket, and that's it. <laughs> that's what PG told you. <laughs> Basically, I mean. <laughs> Did you wear the entourages yet? No, no, not yet. Have you got PlayStation yet? No, but I was trying to get those two, and I found somebody with them. With a with this is so hard too because you're eight and a half. A, right. Like that's so tough. With a decent price, but it seemed like he doesn't have them anymore because now I'm hitting them and he's just what's, dubbing it. What's the fit gonna look like when you finally wear the entourages? Because I know you said you had to put the fit together to actually wear the shoes. Mm -hmm. Um, I know I have the shirt already. It's actually a rude shirt, which okay. I, don't, I, I didn't really want to say to give him all his damn promotion. And <laughs> he doesn't give me shit. But we I know where we know where your loyalty. I know. I mean, the things. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I love rude a lot. Mm -hmm. I love it, but I mean. Fuck, but so yeah, I, already, I mean, when I we, when we were at, I know we mentioned, but when we were at ComplexCon together at the Rude booth, and you cut the line because they oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they yeah. recognized you from mm -hmm. while and out, and then Jada kisses and no, LL Cool, L -L. LL cool J is in front of us, mm -hmm. and Jada kisses behind us. It was yeah. one of the most surreal moments of my life. Crazy. <laughs> That's That's crazy. When I first met Jada, was right outside that booth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's all I had to do at the point. <laughs> Just let me know. I got it on cue. Oh, Anytime you need it, Joe. But. The fit, so you, you <laughs> no, it's um, so I have it. It's a rude shirt. It's a, it's like a, I would say like an off white color, and it says rude and sky blue, and it has black writing on the back, and um, so I'm throw it on with some black jeans and a nice hat from Hat Club. Okay, <laughs> and and the, and entourages. I really cannot wait to, to to wear those though. Even though nobody's gonna fucking know what I have on, but I. You're gonna be at the mall. At the food court? With, with those, no. Nah. I'll probably Panda wear that Express. to like a sneaker event or something. You go to sneaker events? Yeah. I sneaker con? Um, stuff like that? I went to a lot of I go to sneaker Florida, con, but right? the one I go to the most is um Sneaker Travelers. What is What's that? What's that? Sneaker Travelers. It's another Respectfully, sneaker. I, I just don't thing. know. Yeah, no, nah, it's just another um sneaker event that they're um, up and coming. So they're really dope, though. I rock, I rock with them. They're and they're do you feel like they hook, you, you get the hook up when you go to these events where people are trying to, to buy oh, and sell? No, I, 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 I do, for sure. I, I got free... Free silver toes. I got free um. Uh, what else? Damn, what else did I get? Free um. Oh my goodness, cool gray fours. Mhm. Mm uh. I randomly found that shoe in a New Balance box the other day. I was ones. happy to remember that I have them. The old ones or the new ones? The new ones. Oh yeah. Right. The, these are the old ones here. I know. I can tell. Yeah. yeah. Do you, are you speaking of New Balance? Are you on the New Balance wave at all? I love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Want them. I just haven't really been able to cop. A lot. Yeah. And I, mean, I just haven't really. So I saw you talking about it on the sneaker of the year panel where you were like you were like talking about Jones and. Yo, they're going crazy. 
Yeah. I don't know yes. who. I don't know if there's some somebody new over there. It's just everything is crazy fire. Yeah. And so I mean, like all the um, like Joe Salahis, Fresh Goods, Joe Fresh Goods, I'm a Leon Door, mm-hmm. uh, Salehi. So, yes. Yeah. Salehi. Shout you out. Saw shout, the one shout, with the whistle to, on the back. I just that's the one. That you he think that's a whistle or what? I don't know what what it was, but it looked fire. Like yeah. I don't know. I, that that dude is way ahead. Um, I have his. He has sent me the green the green pair. Crazy. The green pair? Mm-hmm. They're blue, right? Yeah, they're green and blue. I'm colorblind, so I gotta double check every time. Oh. <laughs> like a, I guess a marine green, marine blue, whatever. Okay. Has there ever been a guest on Wildin' Out that you wanted to impress slash flex with the sneakers, and that they notice? Uh. Okay, so there's times where I wore Halloween Air Force Ones half half and half. Mm-hmm. Um, I wore those. The they were it's the kids that were that, that were on there and they were going and it was two two episodes. I think Corday was 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 um on it too and he was like, Yo, those are crazy. Mm-hmm. And um Ayo and Teo. Okay. And, ah. they, and then they were like, Yo, oh my yo, I'm trying to get my forces up too. Those are crazy. Um but I did not wear that for I just wore it just to wear it. When Travis Scott came, mm. this was actually Travis Scott was on Wildin' Out? Yeah. And he had on the when? Eminem fours. When twenty Season, yeah, he performed Anadol. Okay, okay. Yep. Probably. August twenty fifth, twenty sixteen. Yeah, he had on the Carhartt Eminem Force. Okay. okay, the black pair. Yep. But this, I, I didn't really know of Travis Scott being, you know, a super sneaker dude at, at right the time. at that so, time. Yeah, so I, in the public sphere, at least he wasn't. Yeah, so I mean, I didn't have on anything crazy, but at now in in retrospect, I wish I, I, I wish I did. What would it be? Undefeated no, dunk. Knowing <laughs> knowing him now. And all the stuff he has now, if I got to go with something that I had back then, it probably would have been like a, un, a, a undefeated dunk, or a, it's lit. or a, or a, or a what the dunk probably. Okay. Now, if I was to today, if it was today, the stuff I have today, it would be just like a crazy sample. Do yeah. Do you I'm remember enjoying. like uh, having a certain guest and busting them about their shoes the hardest on Wildin' Out? Nah, nah. That's not like one of your. Go- that's not one of your go-to. It's so funny on Snapchat. I see. Lines. Did he go too far? Mm. Did the Wildin' Out Snapchat? Did he go too far? Uh, when I click on it, it's always him. Yeah. <laughs> it's always him. Yo, they always, yo, they always tell me if it's somebody who like that 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 you know they're kind of sensitive on or yo chill. The producers always come to me. Conceited, <laughs> All right? We need you to be nice. Can really, not, the wild not, style. I mean, to go going wild style. Do you have anything? I'm like, I don't know. They're like, well, can you tell me what you're going to say first? Oh, wow. <laughs> in case? But when I say it to him, Nick, Nick is like, man, fuck that. Say it. <laughs> I'm like, yo, they Puts say he's, he's like, back. yo, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Go. Do it. Do it. Black, whatever you want to say, go. I'm like, yo, they told me to chill. They said, no, man, don't worry about it. Just I'm waiting for the moment when somebody comes on the show with fake sneakers and the producers tell you you can't. Call oh, them. wow. <laughs> I mean, how re- now, nowadays, can you, can you even tell? Me, no. Like, but crazy. we know a guy. He can tell if I'm looking. Have you ever been to... Um, I mean, you know, there's certain ones you can tell. But have you ever I been mean, to Croatian Styles? Uh, Blitz. Yeah, yeah. Blitz? Of course. Amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's supposed to have something for me, but... So, what What? what, what, what I can say it now, because the price is so fucking high, nobody's probably going to buy it. The Fort Green Spike Lee Jordan ones. Oh, yeah. How many pairs did they make of those? I have no idea. Fort Green Spike. I, I, I got to look those they're up. The, they're, they're the, the black, black and, and blue. And navy blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah. The, with the one slash three yep, on the toe. Yep. I go there, um, and EM has them. This is a couple years ago. This is, oh, matter of fact, the complex con time. Yeah. That's okay. Same, that's oh, so you went, yep. I go, he had them for, which is still a crazy price, but, you know, for those, what I do, it was like probably 8000 right? Which is crazy. But it's like, okay, I wish I did it then. So now, you would have dropped yeah. it? On it, those, I think yeah. I would have. And I wish I did in retrospect now. I hit him up again. Yo. You still got him. Y'all come through. Boom, boom. He said, they're the high now. <laughs> I was like, what's the I was, high? I, I was like, I mean, yo, they were already the high. What do you mean the high? Yeah. He said, well, we, we just turned down 20,000 or 25,000. Wow. I said, all right, my man, peace. You won't be seeing me there then. Does you anybody ever hit you up trying to buy sneakers from you? Yeah. Now that yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not like people I know. It's just people like, yo, 
we yo, we wear the same. We wear the same. Are you interested in that? Clothes. Like, if someone's gonna, you know, offer you twenty thousand dollars for something, or not you right now. You don't really care. Not, not right now. Yeah, because I feel like that's one of the upsides to buying a lot of this rare stuff mm -hmm. is because this scene has yeah. gone the way it has. Now a lot of the stuff you spent money on five years ago is worth more, even if you've right, worn right. it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I mean, my plan is to, of course, God, God, God will and keep it forever. Yeah. But I mean, really? But yeah. I would just I would guess that I know you're a collector and you like wearing your stuff, but being that you know you're this big Bitcoin NFT guy now that you would view these as assets to some degree and try to unload them at some point. Mm -mm. I mean, I mean that's not the the only the only time I would sell is of course God forbid I need to mm. where I'm like yo everything is gone I'm popped everything I mean, must go yeah and I was just like yo here I gotta stay afloat. That is the only way, but I mean I don't really see that happening. But who knows? I mean, what do you have coming up that we should be on the lookout for? So we have uh, I have a new the I don't know if you yeah, if y'all guys saw the um, sneaker wars sneaker wars yeah. yes so uh, oh we we have a new we got greenlit for for season two now awesome so, so so that's coming um we about to film Wildin' Out season seventeen Atlanta in Jersey Jersey. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we might be able to have a crowd now, so y'all could come come through nice. if, if, if if we do. Um, we're going back on tour allegedly in December, depending on what COVID does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and while we're on tour, we're gonna be filming the Wild and Out movie. A Ooh. movie? The it's a Wild and Out movie. Gonna be like the Kings of Comedy. Okay, wow, I love that. that's cool, man. Mm -hmm. And some good. sneaker hunting in between, of course. <laughs> Looking forward to all that. And that's it every day. Oh, before we go, the one thing I want to bring up because. We can mention it. It oh, was funny. A smile on his yeah, face. You know no, I mean, we had no. talked about it. So you had said to us when you were on Full Size on the first time, Fab, your biggest like style inspiration. Um, and I tried to, I tried to get Fab to shout you out <laughs> on Full Size Run because I brought up Conceited, <laughs> yeah. and then we got Fab to say Conceited's name, and it got cut from the final episode oh, and i said he owed me a pair of sneakers because i got fab to say his name and, oh. it, and it didn't happen he says i him, owe him a pair of shoes now you owe me because i didn't see it yeah <laughs> you guys got to sort that out maybe maybe pg can middleman it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> listen man thank you so much it's great to chop it up with you true true sneaker head yeah. thanks for doing this and yeah we'll be on the lookout for all that stuff with hope to man. see you soon yes sir appreciate it this has been the Complex Sneakers Podcast. Everyone have a good weekend. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we will see you next week.